Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Page and I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this page but I do know that I want to play with some warm colors and cold colors. So first I picked some yellow, orange, magenta and red and that's what I'm going to start with and I'm going to put it quite randomly on my page. Don't really care where everything goes so as you can see I'm just putting it down like so switching to the orange letting them mix I'm going wild <laughs> with this I really don't care and as you can see i've gone over most of the yellow so i only have little patches of yellow left going for the magenta again going over letting everything mix this can be horrible I think I, I will stay with the magenta. I don't think I need the red that I've picked up. Letting everything mix. And if I won't like it, I will add some more of the yellow and the orange. Right now, I've, as you can see, everything mixes. And now I'm just trying to get coverage. Okay, I'm thinking should have put some here so not to make my life difficult I thought I was clever by <laughs> not putting anything on this plate here but it's easier than trying to get the paint out of the bottle each time so here we go most of it is gonna get covered just so you know I just need pieces of it picking through I'm planning on putting down cold colors on top and this is just going to pick through okay so i've got this now i'm going to let this die com completely before i'm going to apply these colors on i've got some turquoise light mint and ultramarine so i'll be back okay so that's dry and now i'm starting with the ultramarine and once again i don't know what i'm really <laughs> It doing I'm just put applying it and we'll see it's quite intuitive I haven't quite planned what I want for this page so we'll see dipping into the turquoise letting them again mix And now I'm just going on the inside with almost a, I almost don't have paint on my brush so I want the warm colors to pick through Okay. 
I'm uh, alternating between the two blues and wherever, wherever, wherever it goes, it goes. I don't know what's happening today. Seems like I can't get out one sentence correctly. So all the warm colors are just a hint underneath. Sometimes I put a little bit more paint where I don't want anything picking through like in these two corners I wanted a little bit more paint but otherwise I'm just playing and wherever <laughs> I think it's okay I will stop right now I'm still adding I'm also using the this side of the brush to get a, a thinner lines but otherwise it really doesn't matter you you don't even have to do this kind of markings with the brush if you don't like lines let's see Okay, so finished with this uh, with this thing just here. I've got some. Yeah, I wanted the edges to be uh, completely covered with the blue. So I'm letting this uh, dry, and then we'll continue. Okay, so dry enough. I picked some uh, stencils to play on top. I'm not sure if I will use them all, but uh, I want to start and I'm going to start with this one. Let's put it here. I've got the um, light mint and I've also added a bit blue, a very light blue, and I still got the turquoise here. I'm just going to play with the colors. I'm using a makeup sponge with the acrylic paint. I'm just taking a little bit of the turquoise with the mint blue and just stenciling and again alternating between two colors just so it won't look flat I like I don't like it to be solid color Let's see. Okay, I like it. Next, I want to spread it randomly on my page. So once again, just mixing. A little bit more here I think sometimes as I go I move and I hope I'm in frame I don't notice it until I'm finished it <laughs> I went off camera almost okay like it next I think I'm going to use this one here. So let's see. Yeah. Just playing with this and 
and I'm just lifting from time to time to see where it's going. a little bit more I think I want this to go a little bit down so I'm just going to try and align it again <laughs> where was it <laughs> okay I think I've got it There is a piece here, moved it. Okay, next I think I will go with this one only with the lighter color. I'm not cleaning my sponge, I'm just going to do this all over this these stencil are from the cheap store a house brand so I don't uh, even have a link to Aliexpress to give you <laughs> it's really just something I picked up at the cheap store I'm overlapping the other stencils, I don't care. a little bit more <laughs> I really like this pencil okay like it now focal point I wanted a flower and I picked one of my stencils this one and I'm thinking I'm gonna place it I don't know where do I want my flower? Okay, it will be here and I'm taking another color. This is cream. I didn't want stark white. That's uh, why I've picked this one. And once again, I'm going to take this sponge. I'm just going to a little bit clean it on this page. Okay, dabbing access so I won't have spillage underneath the stencil and if I feel it's not opaque enough I will do another layer but right now just doing this And I'm planning on yellow in the middle. Okay. Going over again in some places so it will be a little bit more opaque. I'm 
I'm keeping the stencil in place and I just want a little bit of yellow so I'm not going to spill here I'm just going to take a smidgen of the yellow here on my sponge and go like this let's see I can even do a little bit more yeah okay I'm going to let this dry and even though I dabbed my uh, makeup sponge so I won't have spillage it still didn't uh, turn out perfect never mind it can still be fixed I just need it to be first uh, dry and then I will continue I'm cleaning my sponge and just wanted to show you how lovely just cleaning a sponge can make you another painty paper for other projects so here we go and of course all this leftover is going into one of my uh, excess paint notebooks that I'm always cleaning my uh, stencils and stamps and whatever and that's how I get more interesting Uh, painty papers collage papers or whatever like this one so don't uh, throw away your excess paint I'll be back okay so fixing the flowers so it will stand up more first of all in between the petals uh, you can always use a if it's a gel roll pens if it's a just felt pens I think uh, these are we don't pay uh, attention enough for simple um, stuff that we have like uh, from school supplies and it works uh, nicely just to define in between and I can if I'm really concerned about uh, making it match I can just switch between colors which the, which is great in, in felt pens you have so many uh, colors to choose from so I can switch and do some fixing for the stenciling I done I've done like so and to give more definition for each petal now I wanted the petals to be more stark white so I can align the stencil again and again and do more layers but I've decided to use an acrylic uh, marker white acrylic marker I've ordered this uh, on Amazon and I'm quite satisfied it has a really fine tip and it really works great so I'm doing this and then I'm taking a brush just to blend it a little bit more and so I won't have marks from the fine tip of the marker now there are so many uh, acrylic uh, markers out there this is, don't have any brand known brand on it but I don't care and a lot uh, like to use Posca pens somehow I don't know why maybe I'm using them wrong they don't work great for me so I was really surprised when something unknown that I've purchased from uh, Amazon is working so great I'm not sure if you can see it but it really does the job so I'm thinking if I re remember when I'm uh, uploading this video I'm thinking I will put a link for this marker if you are interested in buying it on Amazon I don't work with them I don't know them it was just pure luck that I ordered it it was kind of cheap 
and they work of course if you don't want to do this blending with uh, the brush as I'm doing you don't have to I just feel it works better what I love in this tip is that it really gives me control and I can make fine lines with it so I've got some work to do going all over the petals with the white and with a contour line so they will be more defined I'm thinking now another thing with a uh, felt pens they are water reactive so if you want to smudge you can and you can uh, create some shading I can take another fine a uh, brush like so and I'm activating it like so and now I have shading in between the petals not only a contour line so this is another way to go about it and as I said really underappreciated <laughs> these uh, things that we buy for kids so I'm going to continue with the flower and then I'll be back I'm back and I finished with the flower I just want to draw a, a simple stem I'm going to use a permanent a dark blue marker if it doesn't work then I will try a, a black one and let's see just going like this not going to do leaves or anything just And I'm just getting a little bit more here for a little bit more definition and yeah so I wanted to put this word create I don't know who <laughs> it's from a some stack who writes white on yellow it can hardly be seen so I'm just going to uh, color it on the inside with a jelly roll a marker I hope it will work because this uh, has some texture so it's kind of difficult to get in working with what I have okay hard to do straight lines on texture it has like I don't know like fabric texture this paper <laughs> I'm getting tired just from coloring on this on the inside of these small letters okay and we have a word just putting some glue in the back and I'm calling this page done good enough for me I really like how I have picks of color from underneath let's see if it's straight yeah I think now it's straight okay so this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you 
in my next video. Bye for now.